I had gone to Smith College, uh, not too far from UNH, and um, I was supposed to go to law school. And I actually decided not to go to law school, even though I was accepted. And my father declared me unemployable as an Irish history major. And um, I drove down to Washington and I actually ended up becoming an intern for a what was a public interest communication company. And I had no idea what PR was and I didn't know that you could do it in the public interest or not in the public interest. Um, and they were just finishing up Nelson Mandela's stadium tour. When Nelson Mandela got out of jail, he came over here and talked about all of the issues um, around apartheid. And, um, and I got hooked. And I stayed there and I eventually became the president of that company. And, um, and what it really taught me though, was this idea that there were people who, in addition to all the policy people that were running around Washington, DC and in state capitals, that there were actually people who decided, you know, what were the priorities we even wanted to discuss? You know, what was gonna be on front pages and home pages? and what was gonna have Twitter a Twitter. And I got really interested in that and, and thinking that, oh, that's that's a really interesting part of policy and policy making. And so, and I had big dreams of making the world a better place, I still do. Um, and I realized that there was actually a talent to it um, because if you can't get attention, you can't actually get the change that you want because you don't even get a decision or you don't even get the meetings to discuss your solutions. So I learned that craft over time and eventually started my own company. Um, and we only work on public interest issues. So it's a joy to come to class and talk to students who have a lot of different ideas, you know, from mental health to making sure that people don't go hungry to thinking about the environment. Some people are thinking about public transit around New Hampshire. Um, and suddenly they realize in class that you can actually call people up and ask like, why isn't this happening now? Um, and, and really realize that, oh, we, you know, in addition to these are campaigns we're just doing in class for a grade is like, oh, we could actually run this campaign. Um, and it's a really empowering moment to realize that you can actually shape the world in the way that you see it um, if you use communication well.